I'm Tessa Giblin, the curator of Project Art Center, and we're opening tonight the exhibition of Lonnie Van Brummelen and Sebrin Tahan. The title of the exhibition is Monument to Another Man's Fatherland, and in it they're really looking at this idea of cultural appropriation of icons. The original idea was to, um, to film the older in the museum, but um, when we approached the, the Pergamon Museum, if they wanted to collaborate with us on a, on a film which would address that, that the Pergamon altar originates from another place than where it's exhibited now, the museum director did not want to collaborate at all. So we had a kind of work around their refusal. We, we couldn't film in the museum and we also, also couldn't make use of, of their large image archive. So then we actually found out that, that there were really many books around like even from the 1880s, depicting pieces of the altar or like pieces of the, of the sculptural frieze. And we thought we could maybe reconstruct the entire sculptural frieze using these images from all the different periods and from all these different sources. In the exhibition you'll see a 16 millimeter film in which uh, Turkish people who are trying to pass their uh, literacy test in German to be able to migrate to Germany are speaking the titles of this frieze of the Pergamon Museum in which you see the giants and the gods at war together. <laughs> For us it's quite interesting that if you approach uh, this kind of problematic field that you kind of learn where the boundaries lie and why it's contested and it gives a kind of framework you can relate to. One of the things I find completely compelling about these artists' works is that they make the, the journey of their research part of the artwork. So when you're seeing the 35mm film through the other things in the gallery, you also get to know how they negotiated the institutional relationship, where they, where they were stopped, where they reached a dead end, and what kind of negotiation they had to make all the way along their journey to enable them to make a film. And one of the revealing parts of this process is that the film in the end is not a film of the actual frieze, it's a film of a multitude of reproductions of the frieze, so images that they found in books, postcards, libraries, they've bought on the internet, they've, they've bought together to be able to make a reconstruction. At the close of the exhibition on the 31st of January in 2009, we will be showing a whole series of the artists' films. They work mostly on 16 and 35 millimeter film as artist filmmakers. We're very proud to do this because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really big deal for a gallery to go into such a long production process with artists. This is a two-year culmination of research on both of our sides and ongoing dialogue. So we'll be launching their artist's monograph and a whole day's screening of films. Monument to Another Man's Fatherland runs from the 12th of December 2008 through to the 31st of January 2009 at Project Art Centre.